Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the Weekly Contest 290, Intersection of Multiple Arrays. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you did this contest and you really like to discuss contest things. Uh, getting, you know, there are a lot of really smart people there, so happy about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, come hang out. Uh, okay, Intersection of Multiple Arrays. So this one is actually pretty straightforward in the sense that it just tests your... your um, library usage um you know the first thing you should think about in is that um you know if it's in every array then you're thinking about like a set operation so that you can kind of combine them as quickly as possible um yeah and you're gonna in this case you're going to oh actually i missed this hmm. but yeah you you're going to be it's gonna be linear time in general um though I keep it sorted, but you can also say that each number is over a thousand, so you can pretend this is a a, um, a bucket sort or, or a radix sort or some sort of linear sort, right? But in any case, yeah, so I create a set of the first item, first uh, num list of numbers, and then I just do an N, a set intersection, which is literally what they tell you. Um, so, yeah, and this is the syntax in Python, and don't really have much to say here. I mean, obviously, I went for speed and I did this in about 40 seconds. So yeah, I don't really have much to say. So let me know what you think. Uh, I think one thing that I would say is that I probably rushed it a little bit because I did. I don't think I look at the constraints because if n could be zero, then this actually would be a really sad five minute penalty. But I, I was lucky here. Uh, I I don't know. I don't think I double checked, but um, but yeah. Overall, though, um, this is going to be linear time in the sense that. Each element in each in the input is going to be um, looked at once or so forth. So so it's going to be linear time. I mean, of course, like I said, I lied a little bit because there's this sorting thing. But you, if you really want, you could do it with a bucket sort and then you know put it back out to a list and and do it that way. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. And also like, yeah. I mean, uh, that that's what I would say about that one. Even though technically that's not what I did, but. If you like, you should upsell it to do it in linear time and linear space. Um, and you can really do better than linear space. Well, uh, I guess it depends on what you mean by linear. Uh, I guess like a thousand. But uh, linear space is kind of weird thing to say because it's it's the number of unique numbers, but it's bounded by one away. So. Eh. Yeah, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, and you can watch me solve a live during the contest now. This is silly, <laughs> right? Wasn't that silly, friends? Well, a thousand people solved this, but okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is it in any order? Assorted, okay. Yes, I missed with that one. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and hope you enjoy this. Bye-bye. <laughs>